All right, well, this is what we get to work with today. Finish the tractor up, hopefully. I did a little bit of work on it last night. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I painted up the dash just to get rid of the rust problem. It was all up in here. Uh, deck got painted up nice. Look at that. Rear hitch, nice and black now. Turned out pretty good. Even this side looks pretty damn nice. And the uh, stuff I used to do the decks and all that stuff I basically just showed you, I used the Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. This stuff here. It's a little bit thinner of a product. Well, it's thicker than a regular spray-on, but it's thinner than uh, the Duplicolor truck bed coating. So this stuff works pretty decent. I wouldn't use this stuff for the back of my truck bed, I can tell you that right now, just because of the, thin of the thinness of it is. And it does scrape off pretty easy, I found out. But it's pretty good for the tractors. I'll tell you that makes them look damn near almost new. Cleans them up pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, I also did the back of the seat. Had a little bit of something going on there, so I just went right over it. As if nothing ever happened. So today's plan is to get this thing finished up. Uh, I gotta change the plugs on it, do a quick little carb cleaning. Uh, finish screwing down the shifter cover. Uh, I got two nice new batteries. One's going in the Husqvarna and one is going in this Crossman. Uh, they must have ran out of batteries or something because I basically bought the last two batteries that they had on the shelf. So yeah. And I've been buying these spark plugs on eBay. The RG19 LMs and I pay like a dollar ninety-two. Walmart dollar eighty-two. It's like son of a bitch. So <laughs> I guess I won't be buying them from that guy anymore. I'll just buy them at Walmart. It's cheaper, you know. But then again, if I place a big order, it just makes sense instead of traveling to Walmart. Um, so yeah, I also picked up a couple of stuff, just some supplies for the shop. PB Blaster, some carb cleaner, some gum, and some fishing stuff for the weekend. That's about it. So, we're going to get this guy... Done, finished, cleaned up, buff, taking pictures of, and that'll be it on that. Uh, then we're going to work on this X mark. Uh, f well, I guess, uh, I guess there's a little something going on here. I was reading a little something about the spindles. And I saw it on a couple of forms that they suck to take apart. See if I can't get this piece off. Now that's a piece of steel. I think that thing's heavy. Uh, apparently these spindles suck to dismantle. Uh, so I'm going to try and take one apart today. See how well I can get it off. Hopefully it comes off without any problems. Um, it's just the disassembly of it. I guess the bearings don't like to press out. Uh, it's just really tricky to press out and stuff like that, and I guess a lot of there's like the special clip that's on the bottom of it, and that breaks or something like that, I, I don't know, and it turns out, um, the bearings I need for this, uh, for two bearings is $27 a piece, and obviously you need three, boom, 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 because of three spindles, and I've started to think, well, uh, maybe I should just buy a whole new spindle assembly. Uh, the whole new spindle assembly cost, uh, I think it's 46 bucks. Uh, obviously it's double the price of what a bearing would cost. Um, but it's also the labor factor. I gotta figure out if this is even gonna be worth it to take apart and do it. So I'm gonna pull one off today, try and take it apart and then reassemble it, as crazy as it may sound see how easy it comes apart and all that stuff and if it doesn't come off the way it should I will have to order up new spindle assembly so and I gotta look at a few other little things on this to get the final listing prices all the part prices I, I should say and it should work out pretty good and I'm gonna do a little bit of work on the trailer today hopefully if I can get down there a little bit later on do a little bit of wiring on it my uh... I just wanna make sure the mailman didn't come here Is that the mailman? Not yet.
was saying earlier, she was playing 11 o'clock. She doesn't usually come to like 2, 3, 4, sometimes 4 30. But, um, what the hell was I just saying? Oh, yeah, so the trailer, uh, my, my bearing and my hub assembly comes in tomorrow. Uh, so I'd really like to get the trailer done so I can get it here and I can start working on it. Uh, I gotta do a couple of oddball stuff to it. I need a fender. Uh, I'm gonna paint it. A little bit of rust oleum, black. Uh, gonna fix the front lift piece and a few other oddball stuff. So I'll get that done hopefully next week so I can use it. You know, it'd be kind of so nice to use it for a change and let it friggin' sit there. I haven't even brought it home yet. But then again, the towing company won fucking $170 to tow it here, so fuck that. You know, cost more than what I paid for the trailer. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot last night. Air filter. Well, I guess we'll be staying with that one. <laughs> anyway, enough talking. Oh yeah, you guys are probably wondering what the hell this all is. Yep, after I made that little speech yesterday, selling parts on eBay, all of a sudden my freaking phone off the hook and people start buying parts. Ridiculous. Two transmissions. Uh, I think we got a motor in there. Set of tires down below, carburetor in the top box, and a set of two tires that were sitting over there yesterday. Uh huh. Yeah. Quite a bit. Something else. The uh, transmissions. I'll tell you something though. These transmissions suck to ship. You have to build your own boxes basically because it's just too expensive to buy a box for it. So you kind of have to build it. And that's my building. We got a cross from six speed that came out of the. Uh, funky looking headlight tractor one from two weeks ago there and that one down there is the hydrostatic transmission that came off of the Troy belt so yeah awesome isn't it so I think we're gonna start the day enough talking start working huh jeez all right so as you can see the craftsman's out of here uh, I think that's going to be staying here a little bit longer than I predicted. Uh, let's see where to start. Well, the, the motor didn't run tip top as much as I would have wanted to. So I was like, all right, well, I'll clean it out and stuff like that. So I cleaned it out and, holy, and ran a little better, but still didn't run right. So I was like, all right, what's going on here? So I took out the jet again. And the jet was all clogged up again. I was like, uh oh, something's not right here. So I took it apart again completely. I pulled the uh, float bowl off and everything. And on the inside of it, it was just complete. What the fuck? It was like a fly attacking me over here. Um, took it apart. And there was a bunch of dirt on the inside of it. So I cleaned it. And I got to get some gaskets for it now. Uh, I have the one bowl gasket. I do believe in here, but I don't have the second one. Hmm. That's not even it. Nope, I guess I gotta order two. So I gotta order two up. And I'm gonna order a jet. And the mailman. Hold on. Sorry about that. I've been waiting for the mailman all day just to help him with those packages. Uh, I haven't really been waiting for him all day, but if he was here, I would have helped him out. But he finally came and picked up packages. That's good. Uh, so, yeah. What the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the gaskets. So, I got to order up two new gaskets for it. Not that big of a deal. And that's about it. So, it'll probably take a couple more days. Uh, probably about, uh, about next week, hopefully, we'll get it done. I, you know, it's basically all done. We won't we'll go over in the tent take a quick little peek here. Cleaned up pretty nice. See you. Yeah. It's tough getting around the mowers. But anyway, so yeah, cleaned up really nice. Really nice. Huh? What do you guys think? Big difference compared to what it was before. But, oh yeah, here it is. 
so. Uh, I've got to get a gasket for this. Not that big of a deal. And this is the dirty part. i got to clean it up. See how the corrosion and stuff like that just come right off of it. Working on the paint job. And you can kind of, sort of see the inside there. So I'll just water up a rebuild kit. Not a big deal. Auto focus on this camera. There we go. But cleaned up pretty nice, I'd say, huh? What are you guys thinking? I'm thinking six for it. Got my bag on and the scrambler. I'm still waiting for some parts on this thing. I was going to do the sign and give one away, but we still haven't fully finished it yet. So I got to wait for the guy to ship me the handlebar piece still and I'm also gonna order up just a few more oddball parts to it and that's about it so really gotta clean this place up again move some stuff around it's getting to be a disaster Ugh. oh almost just fell So yeah, so I guess we're back in here now. Uh, I did a little bit of work in the Viking. Pulled apart the spindles, and it's a good thing I didn't order up bearings, because uh, these things suck to rebuild. I am not going to be rebuilding these. These things freaking blow to rebuild. Uh, it just takes too much long. It would probably take me about 45 minutes per spindle, at a minimum. Uh, I spent... Damn near half of an hour with my dad trying to get this thing apart, and it just sucks to do. Um, yeah, I'm just going to order three new spindles for it. I think it's just going to be cheaper in the long run, cheaper and faster in the long run. Uh, basically, what the problem is, is, well, that one was actually, looks like it was, re was fairly new at one time, but this one here looks like the other one. So the problem with it is, is it takes a little bit to get the pulley off. I already got the pulley off, obviously you can see that. Then you still have to get this metal plate off. These metal plates are just seized on there, rusted on there, and they just suck to get off. So, that sucks. And then, once you get that off, then you got to try and press out the shaft. Uh, the shaft is the, on these things are just so rusted on there that I damn near almost blew up my friggin' 12 ton shop press over there. The, I almost blew up the gasket. Um, so luckily we caught it just in time. Uh, it took that much force just to try and break out the uh, unit. So I was able to get the shaft out. Once I get the shaft out, it left me with this mess. So then it's, you got this clip ring that is right in there, as you can tell. Boom and boom, and the flip ring was seized up in there because it's been in there since day one, and it just doesn't want to come out. It's just rusted on, corroded on. Won't really move. I very PB blasted it and a few other little methods tried to clean it up, and it didn't do anything. And it didn't work. So then I was like, all right, well, I'll try and press her through, going this way. It didn't work. There must be an uh, inner seal. In there, the, a retainer that holds that bearing in place, so you can't do that. So it's just not worth the aggravation. The spindle here, it's decent. I think it's fairly new, but I'm just going to replace all three of them. Uh, this one here, it's just extremely gone. Just junk. So, 46 bucks a piece, that's going to suck, but I'm going to save a little bit of time. Because I'd be dicking around with those things for the rest of the day and probably still wouldn't make any progress. So I'm just going to replace them. Frig it. Just do it once. Do it right. Uh, a little bit more money that I wanted to spend. It's going to basically double it. But oh well. Uh, and that's basically it. Looked at a couple of other things. And it looks like I got just about everything I need for on the list so I can order it up. Uh, I did a little bit of cleaning underneath here. Get some of these bins in place. No more of the broken up cardboard boxes. So, 
Looking pretty good, and I, I got this jumper pack thing out of the trash well back, but it just doesn't hold a turn. It doesn't doesn't do anything, really. The battery's just done. So I'm going to just get rid of it. There's no point. The compressor doesn't work on it. And you ain't going to be able to buy a battery for it. It's cheaper to go down to Harbor Freight and buy a new one. So, anyway, that's what I got going on. I'm going to start cleaning up this place a little bit. Uh, yeah, I also dug something out today. I dug my uh, tackle box out. Because I need it for when I go fishing. It's got all the hooks and lures and all that stuff. Couldn't find my damn 333 reels. Or well, 440 reels, I forget what it was. But, yeah. Built it when I was... I don't know. I think I was 14, 15 when I built this thing. Put some wheels on it. Some, uh... Roller blade wheels down the bottom, all ball bearings there, and a couple old, uh, old air compressor wheels, and it just slides around, you can pull it by the string, and you don't have to carry it basically. Makes life simple, it's got a rod holder there, I think I might show you guys this once before. And oh yeah, we got tunes on the inside. Not bad, huh? All the baits in here, salt water stuff, fresh water, actually I think I'll switch this, that's a little bit of both, I think fresh water's down the bottom, and salt water's in the middle, hey what the hell, there we go, come on, must be something stuck in back, it's back there, oh yeah, there we go. My weights. I'll show you guys this one kit. Got these uh, kits a while back. Let's see, it's nope, it's not that one. Got these kits a while back, and they just got a bunch of different, you know, lures in it. Oh, here it is. And this one right here. Can't believe it actually works, but we got these things. So it was a whole kit at one time. I think it was like 30 bucks or something. And it came with three of them. And this one little small thing, I don't know what it is. It's not really too spectacular, not too shiny. It's got a little hook and stuff on. I don't know if the camera's picking this up or not. But this one bait, or this one lure, whatever you want to call it. Caught the most fish in my entire life. It was basically cast out, reel in, and it mainly caught the uh, bluefish. And they're kind of dangerous to fish, as they're found in the salt water. But the bluefish, for some reason, seem to like that bait. I don't know what it is, but it likes it. And the one thing about a bluefish is you got to watch out for is them teeth. Those freaking teeth will bite you. That's what happened to my uncle. He thought he, we didn't know that the bluefish had uh, teeth, so he stuck his thumb in the bluefish and he bit onto him instantly, and we couldn't get him to release. It was like a freaking shark basically biting him. So, yeah, be careful when you're fishing for bluefish. But those are in salt water, not fresh water. A couple of weights for deep sea fishing. Used to do a lot of saltwater fishing a couple of years back. My uncle had his boat in the water. But now it's just all fresh water. Sure as hell would like to know what happened to my reels. I can't find them anywhere. I had two of them. Hey, get over here. Run away. It's all good. Well, that was a quick little 10 minute video for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, but yeah. Got the recoil in for this guy here. Awesome. Gotta do a little bit of work on it next week. Get it ready. Get it ready for sale. My dad actually already has it sold. <laughs> Buddy of his wants it. So, we got it going. Same with the X Mark. Things take time. Now it's time to clean this place up. It's a disaster. Alright, well, I've been doing a lot of cleaning in here for the past 
two, three hours now, and it's damn near almost six o'clock. So I figured it's time to end the video. Uh, as you can see, I pulled the husk of iron in, so I just think it all rained on. Gonna get some rain. Didn't want to ruin the wonderful cleaning I did on it. Yeah. I know a lot of you guys disagree with me about oh, clean tractors don't sell well. Around here they do. So. Yeah, but that's about it. I think we're in the video here. I don't know what tomorrow's plan is. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Find something to do. Maybe pick up another tractor. I don't know. I've kind of worn out the past couple of days. It's just been go, 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 go. Um, shit, last night I didn't even get out of here until 10.30. Packaging up the stuff and doing a couple stuff on his nins. It's like, holy... So, yeah, I think tonight I'm going to take the night off. Ooh, going to go get a haircut, I think, because I'm getting tired of long hair. It's driving out of my mind. But, um, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to figure something out. Get the mower here. I'm going to give that to my uncle. He wants it. So, he takes it. Uh, I'm going to order up some of the parts tonight for the mower. Probably I'll order up the two tires and the spindles. Actually, I might as well just order up all, all. I don't know, maybe I'll wait on some of the other parts. I'll just order up the stuff I, I know I'm going to get. And I got to order up the stuff for the uh, Craftsman. Friggin' that was a letdown today. I thought for sure it would have been all done, but I guess not. Oh well, what can you do? Uh, obviously, you guys can see that stupid little TV I picked up is gone. I ended up just throwing the scrap pile. I took it apart. You know, the screws and shit still for it. Took it apart and like the main unit was all frazzled. It looked like the circuit board caught on fire. I was like, okay, so I was like scraping around for a part number or something. And I scraped around, sure enough, there was one there. I cleaned up with the little wire brush there and I typed it in on Google. And uh, first thing that came up was there was one on eBay and the dude wanted like 130 bucks. I was like, fuck that. I don't need a TV that bad. I figured it was just going to be a simple fix, but, you know, that's, that's the usual stuff. But, um, yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it wasn't much of a video, but it gives you something to watch. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe tomorrow we'll work on the, uh, the generator. I wasn't even thinking about that. Throw the recoil on. We're going to build a battery box for it. Do the carburetor, change the oil, and it should be pretty cool. So... Got the new battery in this guy. Cranks over a lot better now than the other piece. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot to do. I gotta change up this fuel line. I'm actually gonna do that right now. I replaced all the fuel lines, right? Got all new fuel lines in here, here. And it's like, oh, this one here looks fine. And sure enough, I noticed I uh, just the other day it's got a a war spot in there. It's leaking fuel every time when you go to run it. So I'll change that up actually right now. But other than that, this thing's all done. All done. Supposed to have someone to come and take a look at it earlier today, but they never called me back. Big surprise there. But, um, yeah, anyway, so, I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Hopefully you guys have a good day. And, uh...